Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today we're checking out the best browser games to play in 2021. Now 2021 is going to be huge for browser games, not only Crunker.io, but also a ton of other browser games that you guys definitely need to play, and in this video, we're going to check them out. But of course we've got to start with one of the big ones, and that's Crunker.io, probably one of the best- oh my, free piece! Oh, I didn't get the fourth. But as I was saying, it's probably one of the best free-to-play first-person shooters out there, and it's also on the browser, which is a great combo. Not only does Crunker look great, it has fast-paced and fun gameplay, it has so many classes, so many modes, and overall it is the complete package when we're talking about free-to-play games. But you guys have probably seen Crunker before, so in this video we're checking out some other browser first-person shooters, but also browser games in a ton of other genres, so make sure to smash that like button if you're excited. And of course, guys, if you want the best experience playing browser FPS games, make sure to go and download Brave Browser, link in the description below. Now Brave is my number one choice for playing browser games. I get no lag, unlimited FPS, a powerful ad blocker, and I also earn money in cryptocurrency just by browsing the web. Now if you guys want to download Brave and elevate your browser game and experience, make sure to click the link in the description below, it's one of the best ways to support the channel. But other than that, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, the first game we're checking out is called Eve.io, and this is probably one of the best first person shooters, one of the best browser first person shooters I have played in a very, very long time, and you guys know how much I like Krunker. Now Eve in Essence is a very simple game, it's a sci-fi sh sci shooter, and it's really easy to get started, you just hop in, start shooting people like this, and you have some fun. Now what makes it different to other browser shooters like Krunker.io for example, is it doesn't have slide hopping or anything like that but there is ability so for example I can go and press Q and I got a little bit of a dash I can go and press G and that will go and throw a grenade and that will explode in somebody's face and deal a ton of damage you can also pick up weapons so for example this sniper rifle and then you swap to it and you've got a sniper so it's really easy to just hop in game pick up some weapons like quake style and boom take him out headshot oh what a headshot let's go 135 damage was someone under there Oh, that's another headshot. Oh, there is a bit of depth in the customization though. You can go and choose which weapon you want to spawn in with. So let's spawn in with a hand cannon and you can go and rank up your abilities to go and give you a bit more of an edge. So while there's only three weapons to spawn in with, you can pick up guns off the ground and that's the true beauty about this game. It feels kind of like Quake in the browser, but a much more accessible version that's, you know, for, you know, the 2021 market right here. And I, I absolutely love it. If you like Krunker, but you don't really like the slide hopping, this game is for you. This is a really, really, really enjoyable package. So I definitely, definitely recommend it. And let me take out this guy. Or let me take out this guy as well. Where are you, buddy? You're out. You're around here. So yeah, a bit of a hidden gem, I reckon. And if you guys want more videos on this, make sure to tell me because I would love to go in and make a bit more content on this game. It is a ton of fun. That's a triple kill right there. And there we go. Number one victory again and again, boys. We're pulling out the dubs. I reckon, though, we go and check out another game. Alright guys, the next game we're playing is called Betrayal.io and this game is basically Among Us but in the browser and it's getting a little bit of traction. Alright, let's go and see if I get the uh, imposter, if I get the traitor, oh the betrayer, finally we get the uh, the guy that takes out all the other people, so this is a little bit interesting. So in this game things are a little bit different, so I can kill this guy and then E and he just saw me do it. Okay, that is uh, not good, so what we're gonna go and do is go 10 and we're just gonna go and blame this guy straight up because I just stabbed right in the right in front of him. Let's vote. Oh my god, if he gets voted. 10 a hundred percent Oh my they actually voted for him. What a legend. What man Fourth, third and fourth imposter right there, and it's gonna say that he you know wasn't, but it, it's okay, people forget. Okay, I killed this guy. I need to find the other two people. Oh, please don't go down. Okay, I'm with this guy. And he's doing his task. Let's go over here, see if anybody's doing it. Oh, the body was found. Oh, who's left? Oh, they're ganging up on me. Uh, unfortunately, that means this is where I lose. Man, I just need to get one more kill. Oh, they found the body. So unfortunate. But that that is basically what... No one was ejected! As you can see, 20 seconds on the emergency. And I've got my kill in one second. I go for the final kill. And somehow... 
Somehow I win despite me killing in front of like four people. Hey, I, I, you know what? I'm happy. No matter, that is betrayal.io and it's pretty much Among Us in the browser. It's a pretty sweet game. Alright guys, we're back at it because we're playing one of the newest and honestly one of the funnest .io games out right now and that's Smashcarts.io. To explain this game very simply, it's like Mario Kart but everybody can go and pick up weapons. It is absolutely insane. So as you can see, I've got these rockets right here. I go up to a person, I bang out and I just explode him. He detonated me with TNT. It's crazy. And despite the very cute aesthetic, this game isn't about racing. It's all about shooting. Like, I just launched some missiles at some guy and they just destroyed him. Now, the carts in this game actually control really well. You just can drift everywhere and it's pretty fun. Like, the controls are very, very decent. The weapons, you know, they're pretty simple. You just click and ride on somebody and they go and, they go and blow up. And, like, these rockets right here, that destroys another person. I got a minigun, an auto-locking minigun. That's going to take this guy out. There we go. We're on a streak. It's basically over-the-top smash. <laughs> They just nuked that guy. Like, it's over the top Smash and not Smash, Mario Kart. Ma Mario Kart, of course. The game is also fairly new. It's version 0.5 and, it, you know, it's got a decently active play base. Super easy to hop in game. And I just got destroyed. But yeah, overall, I gotta say, this game is really quite impressive. The physics are good, the gameplay is good, and obviously, it doesn't take itself too seriously. This is also really perfect if you have a Chromebook because this game can run on just a keyboard. You don't even need a mouse and it's super super easy to run like the graphics are very simple despite it being a 3d game i just destroyed that guy i think there's a guy behind me as well let's take him out there we go there's quite a few different regions a few maps to choose from and some character customization and different characters as well so this game you know it's got the package here so i definitely suggest checking it out if you're interested Alright guys, the next game we're playing is called Hold.io and this game is addicting. Now the way this game goes is very simple. You start out as a very, very small hole and you need to start picking up some small stuff. But then you level up and your hole becomes bigger. So you can start picking up bigger stuff and then bigger stuff and then boats and then houses and so on and so on and so on and this game just goes and compounds completely until you just massive hole and you're picking up complete buildings. The concept is really really weird but it gets addicting. You just want to go and demolish the entire map and as you can see I am going quite quite quickly. I started out as a small hole and now I'm just demolishing this entire building section right here. Now I'm big enough I can start getting the rocks as well. I can start getting the boat and you know what? I can try to, I think I can actually go and get other people. Yeah, I, nah, I've just got a kill right there and I've just demolished that guy as well. I'm just demolishing all these enemies. Look at this guy. He's trying to go to the edge of the map. Nah, 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 double kill. That's mine. And this game is very, very addicting despite it looking quite weird. And as you can see, the number one spot, 835 points and I go and win that round. Oh, sweet. There's even a battle royale mode. Let's go and check it out. I've been uh, winning those games pretty comfortably. So I want to see how the, uh, the BR mode works. Now, the thing about this game is you need momentum. I got the hay bales there and there we go. Now I can start getting some of the bigger stuff. You get stuck on the, uh, on the small, the first level for a little bit and then you just go crazy. Okay, that guy is huge, but he can't outrun me. Like he's not as fast as me. And that's the, that's the thing with this game. And same as Agar and all those other type of games. If you're smaller, you're faster. And that means you have to try to cut people off if you want to go and take them out. So all of these here, those are all mine. That's going to make me level up really, really quickly. But this guy is right on my back. Okay, this guy is screwed. He's on the edge and I'm still going and leveling up. He definitely is not. There's nothing for him to get. And I'm going to try to cut him off and see what I can do. And if I can get inside and go and get the kill there we go okay level 32 now okay this is good all right the game went and timed out but that was the battery hour version of hold.io and i have to say I'm, I'm i'm pretty happy with this game all right guys the next game we're playing is called cs online club and this is basically counter-strike 1.6 but in the browser now this game is sick there's 930 people online a ton of servers across a ton of regions and i think we're just gonna hop into some dust 2 and check out what this game is about all right guys let's get into it and if you've ever played cs 1.6 you gotta buy your weapon and you also gotta go and buy your ammo and let's go to b site try to go and find some enemies but this is a complete poor 
of 1.6 to the browser and it works really, really well. It's quite quick to load in once you've uh, downloaded the assets and that's a teammate, sorry, not an enemy. That's an enemy though. That's an enemy though. Let's try to take him out. There we go. I think there's one person down here as well. Oh no, they're firing at me. What is happening? Oh, the double spray. Let's go. Now, the really good thing about this game is that the rounds are super short, like two minutes each. So you just pop in, start shooting, have some fun. There has to be some people through here. No one? Oh, there is. There we go. We take him out. And it's kind of like normal Counter-Strike with the recoil and the weapons and everything. So it actually is a pretty uh, faithful recreation. And of course, I'm just rushing through long like every time. Let's go to mid, try to find some enemies. They're either in short order. Oh, there is one. And why is he coming towards mid again? Who knows? Now, this game not only has maps like Dust and Dust 2, it also has a ton of custom maps and custom modes. So there is a lot to go and check out. And on top of that, you can go and host servers as well with your own custom settings, which so there is actually a lot to go and discover. Okay, we're doing a rush through long right here. There is so, so many enemies. That's, uh, not sure if that's one for me or one for the teammate, who knows. Now, obviously, this game isn't the latest CSGO, but hey, you can play that on Steam if you want. But for a browser version of Counter-Strike, this is, uh, I have to say, not too bad indeed. Definitely a lot of fun. It is a little bit glitchy, as you can see with the crouch in here, it kind of glitches out a bit. But given the, uh, the graphical, uh, things here and there, it doesn't really matter. The experience is actually really, really quite enjoyable. Let's rush to mid. Oh, that's an enemy. And of course he takes me out. But hey, if you like what you see, link in the description below. Make sure to go and check it out. But hey, let's go and check out the next game. All right, guys, the next game we're playing is called Paper IO2. And this game is quite addicting. Now the concept is pretty simple. You spawn and you just keep moving in a direction that is deemed by your mouse. And when you go and link up to your previous area, it will go and capture the area for yourself. Now the problem is there is a ton of enemies and to go and kill them, you have to go and run into them while they're capturing, while they're not in their, uh, in their safe zone right here. So what I can do is go up to this guy and if he comes out and he, he's not protected, it's an easy kill. Oh, so he's going to get me now. As you can see, I, I, I misplayed. And the whole concept of this is going to own as much map as possible. So as you can see, I'm doing a bit of a big route right here. One guy owns 8%. I'm going to route back. And as you can see, I just captured 2.7% just then. And I can go and dig into the enemies one right here and get their land as well, which is really nice. Oh, oh, that was so close. So I get his land and that's my land now. He's into it. I get this guy and that is all my land for myself. Very very, very nice. I just have to go and capture it. There's different modes as well. So you can go small map, hit play. And this map is very, very, very tiny. So it's a lot more competitive and a lot more, uh, a lot more straightforward. Now, while this game is very different to the normal browser games that I feature on my channel, I have to say I enjoy it. Like Aga.io and games like that as well. Really, really quite fun. So tell me in the comment section below if you want to see more gameplay of games like this. Damn. Oh, I got the kill. Very, very nice. And as you can see, I am at number one. Almost got 10%. Oh, we just hit 10% right now. Sweet. Maybe we can go for some uh, more riskier tactics now. Get more of the map. And oh, that guy is down. No. Oh, we tech took out our biggest competitor. And of course, I just ran into myself and threw the whole game. But that was Paper IO 2. Something a little bit different. But hey, if you got a Chromebook, this game is absolutely perfect. All right, guys, the next game we're playing is called Killstreak.tv, and this is a very, very new browser first-person shooter. This game is a little bit weird. You choose your primary weapon, so I'm going with the assault rifle. You hit play, and you just get dropped in-game, and it's a bit more of those uh, more cartoonish-type first-person shooter. It doesn't really have, you know, the depth to it of something like Krunker.io. Now, as you can see, this game doesn't really take itself very seriously. It's all about just hopping in, just shooting, and not really caring about it. That, about the actual gameplay or anything that's balanced or whatnot. There's like kill streaks and stuff like that called Frenzy where you just get like a ton of fire rate increase and the game's just, it's a little bit all over the place. And while this game obviously doesn't have the depth to it of a lot of other shooters that we've checked out, like for example, CS Online Club, it's Counter-Strike. This is much more of a casual game and if you just want something that you don't really need to be good at, like if you're not the best uh, shooter, uh, shooter player, this is something that you might 
you might definitely like. There is a little bit of depth, you know, hidden headshots and whatnot, but in general, uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. And of course, that guy take me out. I wanted the uh, the kill streak. All right, so we got a few different modes, and this one is called Golden Gun. So one shot, one kill with the pistols, kind of are like Golden Eye 007. So a little bit of fun here, another casual mode to go and have some fun with. Now, obviously, this isn't the best game on this list by far, but hey, if you want a casual experience, and this is definitely what it's for, a casual experience, uh, this is this is definitely going up the alley right here. If you're on a, a Australian servers, definitely uh, wouldn't go and play it, but for American players, this is, this is right here. Alright, so the next game I want to quickly touch on is called Hordes.io, and this is an MMORPG in the browser. Now, this game is awesome. It's like a World of Warcraft type MMORPG where you go in and queue up with some friends or just even total strangers, kill some uh, mobs, kill some enemies, and get a ton of loot. Now, to be fair, I'm not the biggest MMO fan, but this is quite relaxing. Just go in here, killing some mobs, and if you want to elevate it a little bit, you can also do some PvP. Now, obviously, I'm not as good at this game as I am with, you know, other games like Crunker.io and just first-person shooters, but hey, this is pretty, pretty decent, and you know what? I featured on a couple of lists, but I wanted to go and talk about it again. Now, obviously, there is a ton of other browser games that you guys need to check out. And if you want to go and see what they are, make sure to go and watch my top 10 browser games videos. Links in the description below. And if I've missed any good browser games, make sure to go and tell me in the comments section below. But other than that, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under. Out.